YouTube, my name is Mario here, aka the Loot Box Hero, aka YouTube's greatest fat man, bringing you another video here. All right, so of course, you know what I'm saying, it seems like uh, Sony is making some pretty interesting moves lately. So it looks like they're going to bring out a some control, or they've patented. So patent means it's just a patent. It doesn't mean it's actually going to turn into a thing, but it's a possibility they could turn into a thing. Or they already made a thing and they're just patenting the idea so they don't have any legal issues down the line. But it seems like they've made a patent for some PS4 style controller grips. So what I mean, PS4 style, they're like dual sense 4 and not, they're not dual, they're dual shock 4 and not dual sense like the PS5. Um, of course, if you want more uh, videos like this from me, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Check out the main channel where I, I, I cover more Nintendo and anime based topics. So this is interesting. Uh, this could mean a couple different things, mainly two different things. One is that they could be working on a switch like device and these could be your quote unquote joy cons or dual cons, what they could call them for the switch like device from Sony. You know, they could see the popularity of things like the switch and the steam deck and be like, you know, portable gaming is back, baby. PSP three, you know what I'm saying? Um, or they could be going a completely different route and this could be for your cell phone or your, your tablet or whatnot, because of course they have PlayStation now, which allows you to stream games. Uh, you can use PlayStation now to just stream games that you want. And since you know, you're going to be playing on your phone or your tablet or whatever, these two controller grips will connect uh, via Bluetooth and maybe even hook to the sides of the phone to allow you to play these PlayStation games. The only way you should play PlayStation games is with a PlayStation controller, which I think is interesting. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Either way, I think it's interesting. Like, would I like to see Sony jump back into the portable gaming market? Yeah. I mean, Sony devices are always pretty good devices. It's just that they're usually like really expensive. Specifically with the portable ones. That's the problem that the, the PSP and the, and the PlayStation Vita had was that they were just way too expensive compared to the 3DS and the DS. You know, you could get <clears throat> really good games on those systems for like almost half the price. I think what the, the 3DS was 250 when it came out. If I'm not mistaken, 250 or 300 dollars. I can't. I think it was 300 dollars. But it was like two, 250 to 300 dollars <clears throat> when when Vita was like 400 dollars, not counting the price of your AT&T plan that you needed for mobile. So it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it's one of those situations, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the the more likely option is the PlayStation Now option. Because, I mean, of course, they're going to be pushing PlayStation now like crazy. People have been trying to push cloud gaming like crazy. Um, so, game streaming and cloud gaming is kind of the future. And just making these kind of peripherals just make it easier for you to play. So, that's about it for this. Of course, this is just a, a little news nugget for you. Um, trying, to get, trying to make some more videos. So, these little news nuggets... We'll just get that daily content until I get some bigger stuff out of the way. So that's about it for this. Of course, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, good day to you.